We're looking to build the thing that all worlds need. Every single world needs one of these. What is that? That's an iron farm. Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. That's right. You heard that right. We're going to make an iron farm. I uh, think I have the location I want the farm, which is going to be over here. Hey, creeper. So you see, that's our mining hut. And I'm thinking of putting the iron farm right down here. Gonna have to get rid of those trees. Let me get rid of one of these trees. Alright guys, you saw me um, get the wool, so let's make the the beds. Let's see. Alright, so we wanted the beds kind of to be like 12 blocks away from that. So I'm going to have to add in some dirt here. Um, I filled in some dirt in this area already. But, you know, add in a little bit more. Why not, right? We need it to look good here. All right, so let's put down the rest of these beds. So the way I do this is uh, three by three. Got to put the dark one in the center. Got to have the accent bed, you know what I mean? The main bed of the bed lot. <laughs> so now that we got the beds and glass down, we're gonna have to bring over some villagers. But first, I need to uh, make a path over here for the villagers to come over here. So that will mean a little time lapse. Alright, so we gotta go pick up some villagers. We made this little pathway to bring them over. And uh, my, my village was decimated by zombies. But there still is a few, maybe three of them left. But I only need two right now. So I'm gonna go get the two. Alright. We got one. Yeah, that's right. We got a village. Villager. So yeah, I see three over there, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's not a far distance, but doing this is sometimes a pain in the butt. But this time so far, it hasn't been bad. Knock on wood. So we got one villager in there. Now time to get the other. Hello, villager people. Oh, you're up here. Thank you for letting me borrow you. <laughs> I'll have you back soon enough. I'm a big fat liar. He's not going to get back soon. This is the end of his world as he knows it. Of course we've got a creeper in here. Because why not? 
Thank you for dying. Now let's continue. Sorry about that, Mr. Villager Man. We had creepers in our way and we do not want to be blown up. All right, we're almost home at last, Mr. Villager Guy. You're going to be the father of so many people. So I'm going to make 15 villagers here. And now we have all the beds that we need, and we just need to get out of here. Now that's... <laughs> I saw you trying to escape there. All right. So they're in there. What we need to do is um, I need to make a little walkway to them. Remind me to tear this down because I don't want uh, to have issues with... I don't want to have issues with the... Um, zombies so I'm gonna go get some carrots and throw them some carrots all right it looks like they're trying to breed do we have a baby yet do we plop a baby we plop the baby And they're throwing all the carrots to the baby. Do we have a baby? Yeah, we do. Grab those carrots. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to wait for these guys to grow up and uh, keep on breeding them. And um, I'm going to actually cover up this hole. I'm going to leave the hole open for now. But yeah, we're going to um, wait for this guy to grow up, and hopefully he'll produce another baby. And I'm hoping that my um, my home is within range of these guys, so more villagers can be created. But first, I'm going to farm our farmland. So here we go into another quick time lapse. Alright guys, we finished um, farming the farmland here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and take some, oops, take some carrots, we're going to take another five stacks, two, three, four, five, we're going to run all the way over to our iron farm, or soon to be iron farm. Alright guys, eat up, yum yums. All right, so this is what I do. I uh, To make the iron farm part of this, I'm gonna cover the farm. Whoop, they're going at it again. Woohoo! Do we have more babies? Yes, we do. More babies. So already our um, amount of villagers have doubled. So we fill this in with water. So we have a, on top of the village, villagers themselves, we have this, this uh, way of moving the golems over to this section over to my left I'm just gonna cover these up with uh, slabs so nothing spawns on these so when there's enough villagers in here uh, the golems will spawn on top because I'm gonna put half slabs all around this thing so none will actually form 
um, anywhere else except for on top of there. Oh, we got five villagers now. Each time we look, there's an extra one. Oh, so now we have three babies. So they're they're producing pretty quickly as I build this build. All right, let's see if this works. We'll put the lava in the center here. So now we have a working villager farm. Uh, iron farm. We just gotta wait for some more villagers to show up and uh, become strong. But it's pretty simple to do. Um, so basically, above the um, villagers themselves, you're gonna need this area for the iron golem to spawn. What happens is he goes down this water thing and he ends up in the water down there and it pushes him towards the lava blade and then he gets killed and his drops go into those um, hoppers and into a chest. So once the villager number below us reaches the 15 um, we should be okay. It sounds like they made another baby. Let's see. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little another mining session and I'll show you the riches from that. So let's go to another quick time lapse. All right, I just got done with the uh, t mining. So let's see what we got. So we got another couple of stacks of iron, about four stacks of coal, 10 stacks of redstone, some more diamonds. So overall, not bad. Not as good as the first one, but the first one, um, you light up all the caves and you get a lot more on the first one, but this one isn't so bad. And of course, it's time to go uh, get those crops again. Then feed our villages some more. Yeah, yeah. So now that we've farmed the farm again, it's time to make our villager breeder. And I'm going to make it over here because I'm going to put the um, the villager trading hall right over my head. Uh, there's a little dip there and it's going to go in there. So uh, let's begin building this. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. Two, three. So with this villager breeder, we're going to get the uh, villagers that we're going to get the books from. And basically all I'm doing is making a one of the nine by nine farming crops and this is going to be enclosed with glass and um, the villagers are going to farm carrots, feed themselves and basically there's going to be a an area over here where there's going to be a uh, a set of beds where the babies that are born would see the beds and they're going to run to it. They're going to run to the bed, they're going to get into a water stream, and the water stream is going to take them away a little bit and put them in a holding cell for me to be able to get them later. So now that we got the uh, dirt laid out, we're going to put the water supply in the center, Oops. cover it, and I'm going to put a thing there 
piece of glass on top of it. I'm just gonna put a torch on top to keep the mobs going away. We're just gonna hoe this all up, surround it with glass, then create our breeding tube where uh, the villagers are gonna go. All right, I am done with the villager breeder and villagers will be come plenty in my world. So first we're gonna feed the carrots to the villagers to get them to start breeding. So let's get up here and uh, get some carrots in them. All right, here you go. Carrots galore. Now you get to start breeding for me, please. It would be really good if you could breed for me. Just don't ignore me. Go to your friend. Yeah. Now start breeding. Oh yeah, sharing. That means breeding. Come on. Yeah. We got some breeding going on. Let's see if we get a baby. Come on, baby. We need a baby. So what happens when the baby's born? There's the baby. He will hopefully see these beds and want to play, jump on the beds and he'll run towards the beds and get sucked into that water stream instead. So come on, baby. The beds are right over there. Run. Right now. No? How about now? Okay, there you go. So <laughs> the baby's in the water stream down there. So let me show you what happens when he's down here. He's sitting on the wall there and when he grows up, he'll go into that water stream up top. And what will happen is he'll get sucked into this area. And what we have over here, he'll get stuck in that old corner. We have a dispenser with mine carts in it, see? And you hit the button and it brings it out. And what it will do is it'll bring it out and uh, bring the villager over to there where my thing's going to be built, my trading hall. So I'm going to get ready to start working on the trading hall. After I get rid of these, <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I got to get rid of those uh, rails. They go all the way back over to the iron farm because that's where I got these villagers from. So I'm going to get rid of these rails. Then I'm going to start building the trading hall. Oh look, we already have uh, three villagers, three babies. That's cool. So we got five all together. It's growing really quick. All right, so place down your first block. This will be the front right corner. Then skip a space. So we got two spruce logs next to each other. Oops, not like that. Not like that either. So we got two logs next to each other, skip a space, then do two more, skip a space. Repeat until you have uh, 12 spaces in the middle. Make sure you clear out any dirt or anything that's in your way when you're making this. Because uh, we want the ground floor even. And you also want to clear out the space behind also because we don't want um, zombies finding their way into here because all our precious villagers will be here. Now we're going to start on the other side. Same thing. Uh, place two blocks next to each other and skip a space and two spruce logs next to each other. And do that until you have skipped 12 spaces. Once you completed the square, you uh, make these logs too high, like this. Now in the back of each one of these uh, skip spaces, put two spruce planks there, and the uh, villager will actually be sitting right in front of this. By accident, I realized I made this one too short, so we're going to have to add on... Um, everything up to three blocks tall. Now that we have everything up to three blocks high, on the lower blo 
lower half of the uh, top block on the spruce wood, place a slab, a spruce slab. This is for protection from the villagers from mobs and stuff, so even if a uh, zombie were to get in here, this will help protect the uh, zombie uh, from attacking the villager. You'll, you'll see in a few minutes. Also, we want to put slabs on top because we don't want any zombies to spawn on top of the uh, trading hall. That would not be good because then they could just fall right onto the zombie, I mean the villager. So also make sure if you have uh, dirt around here that it, no zombie can just walk on top of this either. You want to make sure there's no way for a zombie to get on top of this build. I actually leave the top of this build open for uh, to the sky. I don't actually put a roof on this thing. It just keeps things simpler and um, I usually use the center to grow um, trees while I'm waiting uh, for villagers to allow me to trade. Once we put the half slabs on, we just put upside down stairs underneath each one of the half slabs. Now with that, the villager trading hall is all done. Um, oh wow. We got uh, four villagers up there. Yep, four over there and four babies over there. So we got eight villagers already. And it's only been like 20 minutes. Now I'm going to label each one of these pillars with the uh, appropriate villager. Now that everything is labeled, I am done for this episode. We did a lot this episode. Um, I rather enjoyed it. If you are still here, please hit the like button and have a great day. Goodbye.